Question 1. What is the official name of the UK? A. Great Britain. B. England. C. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. D. British Isles. Answer. C. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. This name reflects the political union of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Question 2. Who is the current monarch of the UK? A. Queen Victoria. B. Queen Elizabeth II. C. King Charles III. D. King George VI. Answer. B. Queen Elizabeth II. She is the longest reigning current monarch, having ascended to the throne in 1952. Question 3. Name the four constituent countries of the United Kingdom. A. England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland. B. England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. C. England, Scotland, Brittany, Northern Ireland. D. England, Wales, Cornwall, Northern Ireland. Answer. B. England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. These are the four countries that make up the United Kingdom. Question 4. When was the Magna Carta signed? A. 1066. B. 1215. C. 1420. D. 1605. Answer. B. 1215. The Magna Carta was signed by King John of England, establishing the principle that everyone, including the king, was subject to the law. Question 5. What event is commemorated by Guy Fawkes Knight? A. The signing of the Magna Carta. B. The restoration of the monarchy. C. The gunpowder plot of 1605. D. The end of the English Civil War. Answer. C. The gunpowder plot of 1605. Guy Fawkes Knight marks the foiling of a plot to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Question 6. Who is the UK's longest reigning monarch as of the last update? A. Queen Victoria. B. Queen Elizabeth I. C. Queen Elizabeth II. D. King Henry VIII. Answer. C. Queen Elizabeth II. As of the last update, Queen Elizabeth the second holds the record for the longest reign. Question 7. What is the capital city of Scotland? A. Glasgow. B. Edinburgh. C. Aberdeen. D. Dundee. Answer. B. Edinburgh. Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland, known for its historic and cultural significance. Question 8. When did the Battle of Hastings take place? A. 1066 B. 1215 C. 1314 D. 1485 Answer. A. 1066 The Battle of Hastings was a pivotal moment in English history, leading to Norman rule over England. Question 9. Who was the first female Prime Minister of the UK? A. Margaret Thatcher. B. Indira Gandhi. C. Elizabeth I. D. Theresa May. Answer. A. Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher was the first woman to hold the office of Prime Minister in the UK. Question 10. What year did the UK join the European Union and when did it leave? A. Joined in 1957 left in 2016. B. Joined in 1973, left in 2020. C. Joined in 1984, left in 1999. D. Joined in 1961, left in 1975. Answer. B. Joined in 1973, left in 2020. The UK joined the European Economic Community now the EU, 
in 1973 and officially left the EU in 2020 following a 2016 referendum. Question 11. What is the purpose of the National Health Service, NHS? A. To provide insurance-based health care. B. To offer free health care at the point of use. C. To regulate private health care providers. D. To sell health care products. Answer. B. To offer free health care at the point of use. The NHS was established to provide comprehensive health care services to all UK residents, funded through taxation. Question 12. What are the colours of the UK flag? A. Red and white. B. Blue and yellow. C. Red, white and blue. D. Green and white. Answer. C. Red, white and blue. The Union Jack combines these colours, representing the union of different parts of the UK. Question 13. When is St. George's Day? A. March 1. B. April 23. C. June 24. D. November 30. Answer. B. April 23. St. George's Day is celebrated on April 23rd in honour of England's patron saint. Question 14. What was the Great Fire of London and when did it occur? A. A natural disaster in 1066. B. A major conflagration that swept through the central parts of London in 1666. C. A military attack on London in 1940. D. An industrial accident in 1851. Answer. B. A major conflagration that swept through the central parts of London in 1666. The Great Fire of London led to the rebuilding of much of the city. Question 15. Who was William Shakespeare? A. A British king. B. A prime minister of the UK. C. A renowned playwright and poet. D. An inventor during the Industrial Revolution. Answer. C. A renowned playwright and poet. William Shakespeare is considered one of the greatest writers in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. Question 16. What was the Industrial Revolution and why was it significant? A. A period of major industrialization that took place during the 16th century. B. A political revolution in the 18th century. C. A period of rapid industrial growth and societal change that began in the late 18th century in Britain. D. A cultural movement in the 19th century. Answer. C. A period of rapid industrial growth and societal change that began in the late 18th century in Britain. The Industrial Revolution marked a major turning point in history, with its influence on the daily life of people and the economic structure of society. Question 17. What are the Houses of Parliament also known as? A. Buckingham Palace B. The Royal Courts of Justice C. The Palace of Westminster D. The Tower of London Answer C. The Palace of Westminster The Houses of Parliament are located in the Palace of Westminster and are the heart of political life in the UK. Question 18. What is the role of the Prime Minister in the UK? A. The ceremonial head of state. B. The head of the Church of England. C. The leader of the UK government. D. The Speaker of the House of Commons. Answer. C. The leader of the UK government. The Prime Minister is responsible for overseeing the operation of the government and the execution of its policies. Question 19. What landmark document established the principle of parliamentary sovereignty over the monarchy? A. The Magna Carta. B. The Bill of Rights 1689. C. The Act of Union 1707. D. The Charter of Liberties. 
Answer. B. The Bill of Rights 1689. This document was crucial in defining the balance of power between the monarchy and parliament in the UK. Question 20. When did women in the UK first gain the right to vote? A. 1832. B. 1918. C. 1928. D. 1969. Answer. B. 1918. Women over the age of 30 who met minimum property qualifications were granted the right to vote in 1918, with universal suffrage achieved in 1928. Question 21. Describe the significance of Stonehenge. A. A modern art sculpture in London. B. An ancient marketplace in Wales. C. A prehistoric monument in England with unknown origins. D. The site of the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. C. A prehistoric monument in England with unknown origins. Stonehenge is one of the most famous landmarks in the UK, known for its complex structure and historical mystery. Question 22. Who was Sir Winston Churchill? A. A British king. B. A renowned scientist. C. A famous playwright. D. A prime minister known for his leadership during World War II. Answer. D. A prime minister known for his leadership during World War II. Churchill served as prime minister from 1940 to 1945 and again from 1951 to 1955, playing a crucial role in leading Britain through World War II. Question 23. What is the tallest building in the UK? A. The Shard. B. The London Eye. C. Big Ben. D. Buckingham Palace. Answer. A. The Shard. Located in London, the Shard is the tallest building in the UK, standing at 310 metres, 1,016 feet. Question 24. Name a famous British scientist who contributed to the theory of evolution. A. Isaac Newton. B. Stephen Hawking. C. Charles Darwin. D. Michael Faraday. Answer. C. Charles Darwin. Darwin is renowned for his theory of evolution by natural selection, detailed in his book On the Origin of Species. Question 25. What major world event did the UK participate in from 1939 to 1945? A. The American Revolution. B. World War I. C. World War II. D. The Cold War. Answer. C. World War II. The UK played a significant role in the Allied victory against the Axis powers during World War II. Question 26. When did the English Civil War occur? A. 1215 to 1217. B. 1642 to 1651. C. 1707 to 1708. D. 1815 to 1816. Answer. B. 1642 to 1651. The English Civil War was a series of armed conflicts and political machinations between parliamentarians, roundheads, and royalists, cavaliers. Question 27. What is the significance of the Battle of Britain? A. It was the first battle fought entirely in the air. B. It marked the beginning of the British Empire. C. It was the last battle of the English Civil War. D. It led to the independence of Scotland. Answer. A. It was the first battle fought entirely in the air. The Battle of Britain in 1940 was a crucial defence of the UK against Nazi Germany's air force. Question 28. Name the ship that is famously associated with the Pilgrim Fathers. A. The Titanic. B. The Mayflower. C. The H.A. Mayer's Beagle. 
D. The Santa Maria. Answer. B. The Mayflower. In 1620, the Mayflower transported the first English pilgrims to North America. Question 29. Who wrote Pride and Prejudice? A. Charles Dickens. B. William Shakespeare. C. Jane Austen. D. Bronte Sisters. Answer. C. Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice is one of Austen's most famous novels, first published in 1813. Question 30. What is the significance of Hadrian's Wall? A. It was built to celebrate the conquests of the Roman Empire. B. It marked the boundary of Viking invasions. C. It was a defensive fortification in the Roman province of Britannia. D. It served as a trade barrier between England and Scotland. Answer. C. It was a defensive fortification in the Roman province of Britannia, built under the reign of Emperor Hadrian. It was intended to secure the frontier of the Roman Empire in Britain. Question 31. Describe the British Empire's impact on the world. A. It was primarily an economic union with little impact on global affairs. B. It led to significant cultural and political influence across continents. C. It was a brief period of exploration that had no lasting effects. D. It was focused on establishing educational institutions worldwide. Answer. B. It led to significant cultural and political influence across continents. The British Empire was the largest empire in history and affected various aspects of life in its colonies. Question 32. When and why was the Commonwealth established? A. 1600. To facilitate trade with Asia. B. 1949. To foster cooperation among former British colonies. C. 1776. Following the American Declaration of Independence. D. 1919 after the end of World War I to promote peace? Answer. B. 1949, to foster cooperation among former British colonies. The Commonwealth aims to promote democracy, human rights, and economic development. Question 33. What ancient Roman structure can be found in northern England, marking the empire's northernmost boundary? A. The Colosseum. B. Hadrian's Wall. C. The Pantheon. D. Aqueduct of Segovia. Answer. B. Hadrian's Wall. It was built to keep invaders from the north out of Roman Britain. Question 34. What event led to the establishment of the Church of England? A. The signing of the Magna Carta. B. Henry VIII's desire for a divorce that the Pope refused to grant. C. The English victory in the Battle of Agincourt. D. Elizabeth I's ascension to the throne. Answer. B. Henry VIII's desire for a divorce that the Pope refused to grant. This led Henry VIII to break away from the Catholic Church and establish the Church of England. Question 35. Who was the longest-serving British Prime Minister of the 20th century? A. Winston Churchill. B. Margaret Thatcher. C. Tony Blair. D. Sir Robert Walpole. Answer. B. Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher served as Prime Minister from 1979 to 1990 making her the longest-serving British Prime Minister of the 20th century. Question 36. What is the significance of the Act of Union 1707? A. It united Wales and England under one government. B. It established the Commonwealth. C. It merged the parliaments of Scotland and England, forming the Kingdom of Great Britain. D. It declared independence from France. Answer. C. It merged the parliaments of Scotland and England, forming the Kingdom of Great Britain. 
This was a significant step in creating the United Kingdom. Question 37. What does MP stand for in British politics? A. Military police. B. Major politician. C. Member of Parliament. D. Ministerial position. Answer. C. Member of Parliament. MPs are elected to represent the interests of the public in the House of Commons. Question 38. When and why did Scotland and England unite under a single monarch? A. 1603, following the death of Queen Elizabeth I, James VI of Scotland, also became James I of England. B. 1707, due to economic pressures in Scotland. C. 1066, after the Battle of Hastings. D. 1485, following the War of the Roses. Answer. A. 1603, following the death of Queen Elizabeth I, James VI of Scotland, also became James I of England. This union of crones preceded the political union by over a century. Question 39. What was the outcome of the 2014 Scottish independence referendum? A. Scotland became independent. B. Scotland voted to remain part of the United Kingdom. C. The vote was inconclusive and led to immediate re-elections. D. Scotland adopted a new flag. Answer. B. Scotland voted to remain part of the United Kingdom. The referendum was a significant event in UK politics, reflecting Scottish desire to stay within the Union. Question 40. Describe the main cause of the Peasants' Revolt. A. The introduction of the poll tax in 1381. B. Discontent with the outcome of the Battle of Hastings. C. The dissolution of the monasteries by Henry VIII. D. The signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. A. The introduction of the poll tax in 1381. The Peasants' Revolt was primarily triggered by the imposition of a new tax, which was the last straw in a series of economic pressures. Question 41. What does the term suffrage refer to? A. The right to work. B. The right to free speech. C. The right to vote. D. The right to public assembly. Answer. C. The right to vote. Suffrage specifically denotes the right to vote in political elections. Question 42. Who is regarded as the father of the English Navy? A. Sir Walter Raleigh. B. Henry VIII. C. Sir Francis Drake. D. Admiral Nelson. Answer. B. Henry VIII. He is credited with founding the modern English Navy, expanding its size and significantly improving its administration. Question 43. What was the primary reason for the gunpowder plot of 1605? A. To restore Catholicism to England. B. To protest against the Act of Union 1707. C. To support the American War of Independence. D. To abolish the monarchy. Answer. A. To restore Catholicism to England. The plot aimed to assassinate King James I and restore a Catholic monarch to the throne. Question 44. When was the Bank of England established? A. 1215. B. 1544. C. 1694. D. 1821. Answer. C. 1694. The Bank of England was established to act as the government's bank and the lender of last resort. Question 45. What significant event is marked by the poppy flower in the UK? A. The coronation of the monarch. B. The Battle of Britain. C. Remembrance of those who died in wars. D. The signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. 
c. Remembrance of those who died in wars. The poppy is a symbol of remembrance for those who have died in military service, inspired by the World War I poem in Flanders Fields. Question 46. Name one British invention that changed the world during the Industrial Revolution. A. The light bulb. B. The steam engine. C. The telephone. D. The internet. Answer. B. The steam engine. The development and refinement of the steam engine by James Watt and others was a key driving force behind the Industrial Revolution. Question 47. Who was the first woman to be awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature from the UK? A. Virginia Woolf. B. Doris Lessing. C. J. H. Rowling. D. Agatha Christie. Answer. B. Doris Lessing. She won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2007 for her deep psychological insight and societal critique. Question 48. What is the significance of the Welsh Language Act of 1967? A. It banned the use of the Welsh language. B. It recognised Welsh as a language equal to English and Wales. C. It established Wales as an independent country. D. It created the Welsh Parliament. Answer. B. It recognised Welsh as a language equal to English and Wales. The Act was a significant step in preserving and supporting the use of Welsh in public life and media. Question 49. What led to the formation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? A. The Act of Union 1707 between England and Scotland. B. The Act of Union 1800 which included Ireland. C. The Magna Carta. D. The English Civil War. Answer. B. The Act of Union 1800 which included Ireland. This act, combined with the previous Act of Union with Scotland, led to the formation of the United Kingdom. Question 50. What are the main responsibilities of the Home Secretary in the UK? A. Managing the economy and budget. B. Overseas diplomacy and international relations. C. Domestic security and immigration. D. Health and social care services. Answer. C. Domestic security and immigration. The Home Secretary is responsible for the internal affairs of England and Wales, particularly public safety and security. Question 51. When was same-sex marriage legalised in England and Wales? A. 2000 B. 2010 C. 2014 D. 2017 Answer. C. 2014 same-sex marriage became legal in England and Wales on March 29, 2014. Question 52. What does the term devolution refer to in the UK context? A. The process of decentralising power from the central government to regional governments. B. The dissolution of the United Kingdom. C. The transition from monarchy to democracy. D. The economic transition during the Industrial Revolution. Answer. A. The process of decentralising power from the central government to regional governments. Devolution has granted Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland their own parliaments slash assemblies with varying degrees of legislative power. Question 53. Name the process through which a bill becomes law in the UK. A. The monarch's decree. B. A public referendum. C. Passing through the House of Commons and the House of Lords, then receiving royal assent. D. Approval by the Prime Minister alone. Answer. C. Passing through the House of Commons and the House of Lords, then receiving royal assent. This is the standard legislative process for a bill to become law in the UK. Question 54. 
What landmark event did the signing of the Magna Carta in 1215 signify? A. The end of the Roman Empire. B. The foundation of the British legal system. C. The beginning of the British Empire. D. The unification of England and Scotland. Answer. B. The foundation of the British legal system. The Magna Carta is a cornerstone in the development of constitutional and parliamentary government in Britain. Question 55. Who was known as the Bard of Avon? A. Geoffrey Chaucer. B. Charles Dickens. C. William Shakespeare. D. John Milton. Answer. C. William Shakespeare. Shakespeare, also known as the Bard of Avon, is one of the most influential playwrights and poets in English literature. Question 56. What historic document established the Church of England's independence from the Catholic Church? A. The Act of Supremacy, 1534. B. The Bill of Rights, 1689. C. The Magna Carta. D. The Act of Union, 1707. Answer. A. The Act of Supremacy, 1534. This act declared King Henry Vully, the supreme head of the Church of England, breaking away from the authority of the Pope and the Roman Catholic Church. Question 57. Describe the purpose and significance of the Beveridge Report. A. It outlined a strategy for post-war economic recovery. B. It proposed the establishment of the welfare state in the UK. C. It detailed plans for the expansion of the British Empire. D. It introduced the concept of the European Union. Answer. B. It proposed the establishment of the welfare state in the UK. Published in 1942, the Beveridge Report laid the foundations for the modern UK welfare state, including the creation of the National Health Service. Question 58. What notable British series of laws contributed to the agricultural revolution? A. The Corn Laws. B. The Enclosure Acts. C. The Magna Carta. D. The Factory Acts. Answer. B. The Enclosure Acts. These laws allowed for the consolidation of small landholdings into larger farms, significantly changing agricultural practices and increasing productivity. Question 59. Who was the first female member of Parliament, MP, to take her seat in the House of Commons? A. Margaret Thatcher. B. Nancy Astor. C. Constance Markiewicz. D. Theresa May. Answer. B. Nancy Astor. In 1919, Nancy Astor became the first female MP to take her seat in the House of Commons, representing the Conservative Party. Question 60. What major change did the Reform Act of 1832 bring to the British electoral system? A. It introduced universal suffrage. B. It abolished the monarchy. C. It expanded the electorate including more men from middle-class backgrounds. D. It allowed women to vote. Answer. C. It expanded the electorate, including more men from middle-class backgrounds. The Reform Act of 1832 was a significant step towards broader representation in the British parliamentary system. Question 61. During which conflict was the Battle of Agincourt fought? A. The Hundred Years' War. B. The War of the Roses. C. The English Civil War. T. World War I. Answer. A. The Hundred Years' War. The Battle of Agincourt in 1415 was a significant English victory against France during the Hundred Years' War. Question 62. What is the primary function of the British Constitution? A to outline the rights of the monarchy. B. To define the legal system. C. To establish the framework of government and rights of citizens. 
D. To detail the laws of commerce. Answer. C. To establish the framework of government and rights of citizens. The British Constitution, which is unwritten, sets out how the country is governed and protects the rights and freedoms of its citizens. Question 63. Name the battle that marked the beginning of Norman rule in England. A. The Battle of Hastings. B. The Battle of Agincourt. C. The Battle of Britain. D. The Battle of Trafalgar. Answer. A. The Battle of Hastings. The Battle of Hastings in 1066 saw the defeat of King Harold II by William the Conqueror, leading to the start of Norman rule in England. Question 64. When was the Welsh language officially recognised by the UK government? A. 1536 B. 1801 C. 1967 D. 1993 Answer. C. 1967 The Welsh Language Act of 1967 was the first to provide official status to the Welsh language, requiring public bodies to provide services in Welsh upon request. Question 65. What significant cultural movement is associated with Britain in the 1960s? A. The Renaissance. B. The Enlightenment. C. The British Invasion. D. The Industrial Revolution. Answer. C the British invasion. The term often refers to the period in the 1960s when British music, particularly the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, gained immense popularity in the United States and worldwide. Question 66. Who are the Picts and what is their historical significance? A. A Roman legion stationed in Britain. B. A political party during the English Civil War. C an ancient people living in what is now Scotland. D. Inventors of the steam engine. Answer. C. An ancient people living in what is now Scotland. The Picts played a significant role in the early history of Scotland. Question 67. What was the primary outcome of the Glorious Revolution? A. The establishment of the Commonwealth. B the restoration of the Catholic Church in England. C. The consolidation of parliamentary democracy. D. The expansion of the British Empire. Answer. C. The consolidation of parliamentary democracy. The glorious revolution of 1688 established constitutional monarchy in England, marking a shift towards parliamentary sovereignty. Question 68. Describe the impact of the Black Death on medieval England. A. It led to the decline of the feudal system. B. It resulted in the expansion of the British Empire. C. It initiated the Industrial Revolution. D. It caused the Magna Carta to be signed. Answer. A. It led to the decline of the feudal system. The Black Death dramatically reduced the population, leading to significant social and economic changes. Question 69. Who was responsible for the creation of the World Wide Web? A. Alan Turing. B. Tim Berners-Lee. C. Steve Jobs. D. Bill Gates. Answer. B. Tim Berners-Lee. In 1989, Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web, revolutionizing the way information is shared and accessed. Question 70. What major sporting event does Wimbledon host? A. The World Cup. B. The Olympic Games. C. A Formula One race. D. A tennis championship. Answer. D. A tennis championship. Wimbledon is the oldest tennis tournament in the world and is considered the most prestigious. Question 71. What treaty ended the American War of Independence? A. The Treaty of Paris, 1783. B. The Treaty of Versailles. C. 
the Magna Carta, D. The Treaty of Utrecht. Answer A. The Treaty of Paris, 1783. This treaty recognized American independence from British rule. Question 72. What historical figure is known as the Virgin Queen? A. Mary I of England. B. Elizabeth I of England. C. Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom. D. Anne, Queen of Great Britain. Answer. B. Elizabeth I of England. Elizabeth I, who reigned from 1558 to 1603, was known as the Virgin Queen because she never married. Question 73. When did decimalization of British currency occur? A. 1485. B. 1666. C. 1971. D. 2000. Answer. C. 1971. The UK decimalized its currency on 15 February 1971, moving from pounds, shillings, and pence to a system based on pounds and pence. Question 74. What was the primary goal of the Chartists' movement? A. To restore the monarchy. B. To gain independence for Scotland. C. To achieve universal suffrage for men. D. To promote industrialization. Answer. C. To achieve universal suffrage for men. The Chartists were a working class movement in the 19th century that sought political reforms and voting rights. Question 75. What landmark law was passed in 1967 affecting social policy in the UK? A. The Human Rights Act. B. The Abortion Act. C. The Equal Pay Act. D. The Marriage Act. Answer. B. The Abortion Act. Passed in 1967, this act made abortion legal in Great Britain, excluding Northern Ireland, under certain conditions. Question 76. Who was Britain's first Prime Minister? A. Winston Churchill. B. Margaret Thatcher. C. Sir Robert Walpole. D. Tony Blair. Answer. C. Sir Robert Walpole. Often regarded as the de facto first Prime Minister, Walpole served from 1721 to 1742. Question 77. What is the significance of the Battle of Trafalgar? A. It marked the beginning of the British Empire. B. It was a naval engagement during the Napoleonic Wars in which the British defeated Napoleon's forces. C. It was the last battle of the English Civil War. D. It led to the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. B. It was a naval engagement during the Napoleonic Wars in which the British defeated Napoleon's forces. The battle confirmed British naval supremacy. Question 78. When and why did the winter of discontent occur? A. In 1945, due to post-war rationing. B. In 1968, as part of civil rights protests. C. In 1978 to 1979, due to widespread strikes over pay freezes and inflation. D. In 1984, because of coal mine closures. Answer. C. In 1978 to 1979, due to widespread strikes over pay freezes and inflation. This period of industrial unrest significantly affected the UK's economy and public services. Question 79. What does the crown jewels represent in British history? A. The wealth of the British Empire. B. The absolute power of the monarchy. C. The continuity and history of the British monarchy. D. The defeat of Napoleon. Answer. C. The continuity and history of the British monarchy. The crown jewels are a collection of ceremonial and symbolic objects 
representing the monarchy's heritage. Question 80. Describe the role of the cabinet in the UK government. A. A ceremonial body with no real power. B. The Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. C. The executive decision-making body, led by the Prime Minister. D. A legislative committee responsible for drafting laws. Answer. C. The executive decision-making body, led by the Prime Minister. The cabinet is composed of senior government ministers, most of whom are heads of government departments. Question 81. What social reform did the Factory Acts bring about? A. Legalization of trade unions. B. Reduction in working hours for children and women. C. Introduction of the minimum wage. D. Establishment of workplace safety standards. Answer. B. Reduction in working hours for children and women. The Factory Acts were a series of laws passed in the 19th century aimed at improving conditions for workers, especially women and children, in factories. Question 82. Who was the first British astronaut in space? A. Tim Peake. B. Helen Sharman. C. Michael Fowl. D. Piers Sellers. Answer. B. Helen Sharman. Helen Sharman became the first British citizen to travel to space in May 1991, visiting the Mir space station. Question 83. What event marked the start of the English Reformation? A. The signing of the Magna Carta. B. The Battle of Hustings. C. Henry VIII's Act of Supremacy. D. Elizabeth I's accession to the throne. Answer. C. Henry VIII's Act of Supremacy. The Act of Supremacy in 1534 declared Henry VIII the supreme head of the Church of England, marking the beginning of the English Reformation and the break from the Catholic Church. Question 84. What is the significance of the Union Jack flag? A. It represents the Union of England, Scotland, and Wales. B. It was the flag of the British Empire. C. It symbolizes the UK's naval power. D. It commemorates the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. A. It represents the Union of England, Scotland, and Wales. The Union Jack flag symbolizes the administrative and historical union of these countries within the United Kingdom. Question 85. When was the National Health Service, NHS, founded? A. 1948. B. 1952. C. 1965. D. 1973. Answer. A. 1948. The NHS was established on July 5, 1948, providing health care services funded from general taxation to all UK residents. Question 86. What historic figure led the parliamentary forces against the monarchy in the English Civil War? A. Oliver Cromwell. B. William Wallace. C. Richard the Lionheart. D. King Henry VIII. Answer. A. Oliver Cromwell. Cromwell was a leading figure in the English Civil War, commanding forces against King Charles I. Question 87. Name the treaty that recognized the independence of the United States from Britain. A. The Treaty of Paris, 1783. B. The Treaty of Versailles. C. The Magna Carta. D. The Treaty of London. Answer. A. The Treaty of Paris, 1783. This treaty ended the American Revolutionary War and recognized the independence of the United States. Question 88. What principle did the Bill of Rights 1689 establish in British law? A. The right to bear arms. B. The supremacy of Parliament 
over the monarchy. C. The establishment of the Church of England. D. The rights of all men to vote. Answer. B. The supremacy of Parliament over the monarchy. The Bill of Rights 1689 laid the foundation for a constitutional monarchy in the UK, limiting the powers of the monarch and establishing parliamentary sovereignty. Question 89. When and what was the Great Exhibition? A. 1851. A showcase of British industrial and technological advancements. B. 1948. A sports event that marked the beginning of the modern Olympic Games. C. 1600. A festival celebrating the Union of England and Scotland. D. 1776. An exhibition of American independence. Answer. A. 1851. A showcase of British industrial and technological advancements. The Great Exhibition of 1851, held in the Crystal Palace, displayed innovations from around the world and marked a high point in the British Empire. Question 90. What does the term British Raj refer to? A. The British Monarchy. B. British Rule in India. C. The British Parliament. D. The British Empire's naval fleet. Answer. B. British rule in India. The British Raj is the term used for the period of British colonial rule in the Indian subcontinent between 1858 and 1947. Question 91. Who was known for their role in the abolition of the slave trade in the British Empire? A. William Wilberforce. B. Elizabeth I. C. Oliver Cromwell. D. Winston Churchill. Answer. A. William Wilberforce. Wilberforce was a leading figure in the movement to abolish the slave trade in the British Empire, culminating in the Slave Trade Act of 1807. Question 92. What major change occurred in the UK's political landscape in 1997? A. The establishment of the Welsh Assembly and the Scottish Parliament. B. The UK's entry into the European Union. C. The signing of the Magna Carta. D. The Battle of Britain. Answer. A. The establishment of the Welsh Assembly and the Scottish Parliament. Devolution in 1997 marked a significant change, granting Wales and Scotland their own legislative bodies. Question 93. What ancient monument is located in the English county of Wiltshire? A. Buckingham Palace. B. Stonehenge. C. The Tower of London. D. Hadrian's Wall. Answer. B. Stonehenge. This prehistoric monument is one of the most famous sites in the world and is located in Wiltshire, England. Question 94. Name one of the key figures in the establishment of the British welfare state. A. Margaret Thatcher. B. William Beveridge. C. Adam Smith. D. Charles Darwin. Answer. B. William Beveridge. The Beveridge Report, authored by William Beveridge in 1942, laid the groundwork for the welfare state in the UK. Question 95. What conflict is known as the Troubles in British history? A. The English Civil War. B. The War of the Roses. C. The conflict in Northern Ireland between the late 1960s and 1998. D. The Battle of Hastings. Answer. C. The conflict in Northern Ireland between the late 1960s and 1998. The Troubles refers to the period of sectarian violence and political conflict in Northern Ireland. Question 96. What role does the Speaker of the House of Commons play? A. Acts as the head of the UK government. B. Presides over debates in the House of Commons, ensuring orderly conduct. 
C. Represents the UK in international diplomacy. D. Serves as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Answer. B. Presides over debates in the House of Commons, ensuring orderly conduct. The Speaker is responsible for maintaining order during debates and ensuring parliamentary rules are followed. Question 97. When did the Roman Empire officially withdraw from Britain? A. 55 BC B. AD 43 C. AD 410 D. AD 1066 Answer. C. AD 410 The traditional date when the Roman Empire is said to have formally withdrawn its military and administrative presence from the province of Britannia. Question 98. Describe the significance of the Scottish Enlightenment. A. It marked Scotland's independence from England. B. It was a period of significant intellectual and scientific advancements in Scotland during the 18th century. C. It led to the unification of the Scottish and English crowns. D. It was a military campaign against British rule. Answer. B. It was a period of significant intellectual and scientific advancements in Scotland during the 18th century. The Scottish Enlightenment was notable for its contributions to philosophy, economics and science. Question 99. What was the primary impact of the Enclosure Acts in Britain? A. The redistribution of land to the peasantry. B. The consolidation of land into larger farms, leading to the displacement of peasant farmers. C. The establishment of national parks. D. The expansion of urban areas. Answer. B. The consolidation of land into larger farms leading to the displacement of peasant farmers. The Enclosure Acts were a series of UK statutes that allowed for the appropriation of common lands into privately owned parcels, dramatically altering the landscape and social structure. Question 100. Who was the first monarch of the House of Windsor? A. Queen Victoria. B. King Edward VII. C. King George V. D. Queen Elizabeth II. Answer C. King George V. In 1917, George V changed the royal family's name from the House of Saxe Coburg and Gotha to the House of Windsor in response to anti German sentiment during World War I.